Jim. I'm Rinda. We're hardiness approach. It's time to do the morning chores and we thought it was time to take you with us. So come along and let's have a good time. It's 35 degrees. We're really happy about that in the middle of January. Yeah, we don't have to dress up quite as warm to survive this. Hey, Missy. Do you see that we're ready for you? Come on, turn around and come in. She's so funny because she goes as soon as she sees us. She'll get to a certain point. There she goes. She turns around. She'll come around. I wonder if we can cover those buckets so I don't knock stuff into them. I'll just move them. Because if they're moved right now, then they're not where you're walking. Gotcha. What we do. Now, she still has a bunch in there, right? What? She still left a bunch in here, right? She's still lacking. There's oh. already a bunch in there. I'm not going to give okay. her a hope. She keeps getting in a hurry. It's not, oh, yeah. that was not a good thing. That was not bad. Oh, ugly tail. Yeah, I'm going to clean so. it off. I saw that ugly tail. Oh, for pity's sakes. No way I'm getting it off with these gloves, huh? There's a few of them right here. That's what I thought. That's what it felt like. <laughs> Quite a few, actually. Okay. So every time we have a plan, <laughs> something goes wrong. So Brisket has to help us because Missy will go right now and then she'll start to let down, not let down, just stop. And so we take it off, put Brisket on, and then lean her back up and put it back on. Yep, it's a pain, but it gives us a good amount of help. Hey, Brisket. <laughs> Hi, baby. Time for you to nurse a little. I know, you're chewing. No, those are just buckets. There's milk there, but you can't Enough brisket, it's time to go, big guy. It's time to go. Come on, it's time to go. Let's go. Let's go. And now she'll let down. See if you can outrun her. <laughs> 
Today is the first burn on our new fireplace. The day that it was installed uh, was a gorgeous day. I mean, we we'd had we should have had this earlier, but we didn't. Sometimes things just don't happen the way you want them to. We didn't have it when it was ten. <laughs> we yes. had it when it was almost I mean, seventy. <laughs> I mean, the real cold weather comes and goes, and tomorrow it's supposed to snow up to one to three inches. So we still have a lot of winter left, so oh, we yes, have it now. The first five burns on this is supposed to be at a at like no more than a moderate fire to burn off, you know, it's new paint, it's new everything, and, and so there's just a lot of buildup that has to go. Plus, it needs to anyway. I, it, the, the, new uh, new is due. It's kind of like your car. You got to run it right. slow the first Absolutely. so many miles. And um, the fan on this is just amazing. It like blows the air clear out. <laughs> Oh, we're so excited. <laughs> so right now the fan's off yeah, because it's off. kind of noisy for us to record over. It's but we're excited noisy, we have the fire. The There's a low, when it's on low, you hardly hear it at all. Right. We decided to record what we need to record in front of this wonderful fireplace so that we could have a place to do it because what we had already recorded, we did in the car and outside, both of which had excessive background noise. The car noise was overriding, couldn't really get rid of it. And outside it was so windy, all you could hear was the wind blowing and not us talking. And so now so. we'll do it again. So what we said in the car is, <laughs> we are on our way to go. We had an adventure. We did, we, were gonna, we, we went down to close to Branson. Um, we're doing projects, and, and I, I mentioned this in my blog, but... By the way, we were already down there for something yeah, else that we close, had to do close. down that direction. Yeah, we wouldn't go that So far it wasn't us. like we made a far trip for what we did. So. so, but it was gorgeous. It was gorgeous. Um, so what we've decided to do is, you know, we are homesteaders, senior steaders, and we have lots of projects. And all of our projects that are important have to do with food whether it's animal or vegetable. Whether it's feeding us or feeding animals exactly. or feeding the vegetables. And so one of the things that we desperately want to be able to have is a caterpillar tunnel over the driveway garden and then two more out in the other garden that we're just still prepping the soil for. It requires some rebar that goes into the ground and then the hoops hang come down over those. Well, rebar is pretty pricey and comes in like 20 foot lengths sometimes, or two foot ones that are re like almost three or four dollars each. And so. if you need one or two, it's not a big deal. If you need as many as we need, it starts adding up. And when you have a small budget, you start looking at that and saying, is there another way? And we did that. So we did that. I got onto Facebook Marketplace and on uh, Craigslist. And on Craigslist, I found somebody who had galvanized, which doesn't rust in 35 to 50 years, galvanized half-inch um, conduit. And I and it was in 10-foot square lengths. And I was like... 10-foot squares? 10-foot lengths. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, they had um, 10 of them. And they were going to sell them for $35 for the whole thing. Uh, which or, which is a good price. Or only six foot instead of ten foot. That was a really good price. So we were like, okay, we're half over halfway down there. Let's just go do it. Well, w because of what we're having to haul, something that long that we can't do in the sedan, we planned on taking the truck. So I went out to start the truck. I knew that the oil was... It, it's an old truck. You have to replace the oil, and it's been a while. So I was going to refill the oil. So I started it up. Uh, why did I start it? I did. I started it up. Because you do that with it when you're adding oil to make sure afterwards to make sure it all flushes. Yeah, it. yeah. Anyway, uh, I was getting some odors, and I look and I see some smoke coming out from under the hood. Well, it was actually vapor in this case, 
And as I got to looking at it, there is a, a uh, coolant leak that's coming out of, uh, like underneath of the um, fuel injectors, what, what, whatever that means, right? But it's, I, I talked to my mechanic son and he explained it to me and it's common. Uh, it's a... It's inexpensive, it's, an but inex it's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, it's all kinds of taken apart and carefully putting back together that has to go on. So it wasn't something I was going to do in a few minutes. So we ended up having to take our little Corolla and we needed to make it so that they would fit. So he took his pipe cutter so he could cut them when he got down there. Well, when we got down there, they said, well, those are down at a house just four, what, four blocks down or whatever that we are renovating. And he says, but my husband, and her husband's right there, he just remembered that we have some on the side of our house that we haven't used in forever and maybe you would like to get those. So we go over there and there is a pile. Um, they're already cut, most of them four to six inches and those feet, feet, feet <laughs> and those that aren't. Um, he had a grinder. Just, 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 a, just a handheld cutter. So, so he did that. Just... And I'm like, well, how much? So we were going to pay $35 for the ones that were down there. And we said, how much would you like for all of these? And they said, I don't you know. You get that looking at each other like, know. oh, we hadn't <laughs> thought about that. And he, they're like, how about $15? And I'm like, you're <laughs> yeah. okay, yeah, for sure. Um, and, and I said, well, we only brought this much cash, but will you take the rest of the check? And they're like, for, for sure, no problem. So we took those, and then we went down to look at the others. Well, four of them were two in three at least two inch big ones ones we couldn't use so we just took um six of those yeah there was some half inch and three quarter yeah. inch conduit there that we so took. we just took six of those and and she goes well you can just take those for ten dollars and i'm like wait 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 those were 15 and these are 10 that's only 25 dollars she goes yeah that's all i need <laughs> we walked out of there with so much conduit that we now have enough to do probably all three of our tunnels and we paid 25 dollars for them. <laughs> now conduit we don't mean like the ribs we mean just the poles that go the stakes that the, go in the, the ground yeah, to hold it down the holes so that we can put the pvc over it you got to start with your foundation and so that's the first materials that we've gotten so now we start looking for budget friendly ways to do some of the other things that need done did something just shift in there it did i probably should pick it back up and I will in a few moments. So as we were there, we got, they sent us down. They says, just go around the corner and you're going to see this beautiful lake. You'll be at the bottom of the canyon and there will be a beautiful lake. And it was beautiful. I can't remember the name of it. But Funny name. It was so gorgeous. And we were able to go out on a floating dock and take Oh, I need my gloves, huh? Yeah, you're going to need your gloves. So we got molding for the living room for the baseboard so that we can plug up the holes once and for all. Shut down the, the mouse freeway and air, cold air freeway.
So now, I'm going to bring you over so you can really see the treasure that we got for $25. Oh, okay, I know what you're saying. It looks like a bunch of junky old pipes that you hauled away for somebody. <laughs> yeah, but those junky old pipes are about $2 a foot, linear foot. So, uh, we're really excited to have gotten them. Where are we putting them? I don't know, honey. In a five-gallon bucket standing up, maybe? Perfect thought. Probably going to need two five gallon buckets. This guy went, one of us picks out the ghost to the next one, ghost to the next one. Ghost to the next one. I see. I know what you're saying. Here's Piggly Wiggly Snuff. What's that? Piggly Wiggly Snuff. Oh, you got them all. Hope so. I want to tell you how much I am enjoying uh, my blog and writing it. Um, I don't know if it's worth reading at all, <laughs> but I missed writing. I haven't written in so long. You've gotten some great comments on this. Uh, I think some other people are enjoying it too. I have got some great comments and I've gotten some wonderful questions uh, regarding nutrition and being able to answer those questions. Um, well, actually, the blog that went out, yesterday. The, the most recent blog, yesterday's blog, was primarily answers to some of the questions you yeah. had. And it's fun. I'm going to do research. And one of the things you will find, whether you watch me for one day or through all the 365 days, is that where it comes to nutrition, there are two words that I always use, and that's moderation and what's the other word? Because <laughs> you don't use it enough. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I will always be balanced. I don't ever go all the way, oh, we're all meat, oh, we're all vegetable, oh, we you know, don't do any fat. We don't ever do that. Um, we do moderation in everything. So thank you so much for participating in it. It's been really fun, and I hope to watch it grow with uh, you guys learning some things and me learning some things, and we all learn together. It'll be great. If you've been watching along and you haven't subscribed yet, great time to do that and also click the little notification bell so you can be notified. Uh, also invite you to go see Rinda's blog, go see our website. Rinda doesn't plan on doing lots of newslettering, but we are going to have some information that goes out to, to our subscribers, to the folks who have signed up for the newsletter. So you can find that on the website as well and, and the links are in the show notes and get notification about new things, about updates, so you can keep up with what's going on. We enjoy senior studying, we enjoy sharing our journey, and we hope that what we're experiencing is encouraging to you, letting you know what can be done, and come along and enjoy with us. I am not working outside of the home off the farm anymore. Uh, we're doing everything together and everything that we are going to do to provide income for ourselves is going to come from the farm or anything, uh, any of our other skills. So some of you may be in our same boat where you don't have a huge pocket full of money. And so if you have wonderful ways that you are bringing in a second income on your farm. Or a third or a fourth. Or <laughs> multiple streams. Let us know. Uh, we have lots of ideas that we're going to be putting together. So it'll be something we all share together. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.